Hello learners and welcome back to Constant Learners. I hope you're all doing well because this video might be a teeny tiny bit overwhelming. But uh, let's try and make it easy and let's get started. Now in this video here you can see that we have a survey. Survey about uh, some people uh, with a particular weight. They have a heart disease that means yes or they do not have a heart disease no okay so outputs we have in the form of no and yes that means what are we doing we are classifying our output into two classes that is yes and no so whenever we classify the data into two or more categories we call it classification and classification is a type of supervised machine learning Supervised machine learning we know that uses training data to generate the model. All of this we have already discussed in the previous videos. I will link that above. So logistic regression is a type of supervised machine learning used to solve classification problems. Okay. Logistic regression belongs to the type classification in supervised machine learning. All right, and logistic regression is used to classify the data into two or more classes or categories. All right, now we haven't discussed linear regression yet, but we will in the future. For now, we need some background of linear regression, so we are discussing it here in short. Okay, now in linear regression, uh, we have an independent variable, or we can say the predictor that helps us to predict our output and dependent variable is the target or we can say the output that we are expecting now in this case the output is continuous this is a very important point here the output is continuous that means whenever x varies y also varies continuously with it okay so the value of dependent variable changes continuously with the values of independent variable. Okay. So for continuous change in x, the output y also changes continuously. And this output could be any value. Okay. The value could be anything ranging from minus infinity to plus infinity. Okay. But this is not the case for logistic regression. In logistic regression, the output is not continuous rather the output is classified into two or more classes let's consider two classes right now okay so we can say that our output is binary in nature because we are classifying our output into two classes that is one or zero yes or no true or false not spam or spam correct that means we are classifying our data into two classes or two categories and this is logistic regression this is the main uh, concept behind logistic regression that is our output is not continuous rather we can say that our output is discrete classified into two categories so whatever output we are getting we have to classify it that is separate it into two categories correct for example I have a box of candies and lollipops and I have to classify them into two categories. One box of candies and two second box of lollipop. So I'm going to put the candies in the candies box and lollipop in the lollipop box. That is what we are doing here. We are just classifying our output data into two categories. Okay. Now, uh, logistic regression is a predictive model approach. See, predictive word comes from predict correct or we can say prediction so what are we predicting in this case we are predicting the probability probability of what probability of whether an event is happening that is yes or the event is not happening probability of whether a person has a heart disease or does not have a heart disease we are predicting the probability of a person being covid positive or the person not being covid positive we are predicting the probability of a person being healthy or not being healthy. Okay. So we can say that we are predicting the class or category of our output. 
okay but that is not really possible because the probabilities could not necessarily be 0 and 1 because we have only two classes right 0 and 1 and we have to classify our data between 0 and 1 correct so it is not necessary that our probabilities will be 0 and 1 it could be anything or any value between 0 and 1 it could be 0 0.1, it could be 0 0.7, it could be 0 0.9, it could be 0 0.4, it could be any values. So how are we going to decide whether 0 0.1 will belong to category 0 or category 1? Whether 0 0.9 will belong to category 0 or category 1? How are we going to decide that? We need to uh, find some ways, right, to classify this data into two categories, that is 0 and 1. 1 okay so in that case what do we do is we round off our predicted values we round off our data into category 0 or category 1 we will round off this 0 0.1 to either 0 or 1 we will round off this 0 0.9 to either 0 or 1 but what number are we going to round it off to 0 or 1 how are we going to decide that with the help of a decision threshold okay here in this case our decision threshold lies at 0 0.5 okay so we are using 0 0.5 that is the decision threshold to decide whether 0 0.2 will move to 0 category or to category 1 0 0.7 will be rounded off to category 0 or category 1 so how do we do that see if the value is above 0 0.5 we will consider it as 1 and if the value is below 0 0.5 we will consider it as 0 as simple as that suppose here in this case at this point our value is 0 0.2 okay so we are going to round it off to 0 we are going to classify it into the class 0 if at this point the value is suppose 0 0.4 okay so we are going to put it into the category 0 if suppose here I have a value of say 0 0.7, okay, so I'm going to put it into class 1. If at this point I have a value of say 0 0.8, so I'm going to push it to category 1. Okay, so this is how we round off our values to category 0 or category 1. This is how we classify the data in logistic regression, okay. Now see, here I have the data points. Some data points are belonging to category 1. Some data points are belonging to category 0. Okay. Now how are we going to draw uh, a graph here in this case? See, linear regression had a straight line graph because the values of y were changing continuously with the values of x. But that is not the scenario here. Here we have only two categories that is 1 and Zero. So, how are we going to draw a graph? We cannot use any straight line in this case to classify our data. That is not possible. So, in this case, we use a concept or we can say a mathematical function known as the sigmoid function. And the curve that we use to represent our data is known as the sigmoid curve. Okay. So, sigmoid function is actually... A mathematical function that has an S-shaped curve. Okay. And you can see that this S-shaped curve can easily accommodate all of our data points. The computer needs to constantly analyze the data and uh, create a model, right? Because this is supervised learning. So, computer learns from the past data um, from uh, the experiences and finally generates the model that can fit the data in the best possible way. Okay, I hope that this much was clear. Now, in the next video, in the part 2 of logistic regression, we will discuss the log odds or we can say the logit function. Okay, now see, here in this case, we have only two categories, 0 and 1, right? So, the range is also very small. Okay, so we could increase this range from minus infinity to plus infinity 
and we could also have a linear graph in this case we have a sigmoid curve correct in case of log of odds or logit function we can increase the range from minus infinity to plus infinity and we can have a linear graph okay so that we are going to discuss in the next video the part two of logistic regression and uh, we are also going to see why or what is the need of using log of words and what is the mathematical equation for log of words okay thank you so much for watching if this video was helpful you know the drill please give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and share this with as many people as you can and um, thank you so much for watching